it today. I hope that you are doing fine and you are enjoying doing your activities while studying at home. This is me again, Teacher Marife, your Science 4 teacher. Always eager and excited to be with you in your science journey. Are you ready for today's journey? Do you have your self-learning mojo? I am Ellen Bokman. If all are set and ready, come on, well, let's start our learning adventure. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify changes in materials whether useful or harmful to one's environment. But before that, let's have a quick review by answering the looking back in your module. Group the activities as to whether they are harmful or useful to one's environment. Write on the proper column. Burning of tires. Is it useful or harmful to the environment? That's right. Burning of tires is harmful to the environment. How about smoke welching vehicles? Is it harmful or helpful to the environment? Very good! Smoke welching is harmful to the environment. Next is recycling plastic bottle. Is it useful or harmful? Right! Recycling plastic bottle is really useful to the environment. Another one is making compost pit. Harmful or useful? Right! It is useful to the environment. Dumping garbage on the street corner. Yes, dumping garbage on the street corner is harmful to the environment. The last one is using eco bag when buying groceries. Useful or harmful? Right, that is useful activity. Have you answered all the items correctly? Very good. Now let us proceed to activity number one. Write PC if it is physical chains or CC if it is chemical chains. Chopping of wood, physical or chemical chains. Very good. That is physical chains. How about burning of leaves? Yes, burning of leaves is chemical chains. Cutting piece of clothes. Physical or chemical? That is physical chains. How about boiling water? Is it physical chains or chemical chains? Observe. Excellent! Boiling water is a physical chains. The last one is rusting of iron. Physical chains or chemical chains? Great! That is chemical chains.
physical change happens when materials changes in size and shape without forming a new substance. But other materials may undergo chemical change, meaning a new substance is formed which is different from the original one. Now, let us find out the effects of these changes in materials to one's environment. For activity number two, you just study the pictures, cite ways on how food and medicines are affected by changes in the temperature, and identify its harmful effects to one's environment. Proper storage of foods and medicine is an important practice to minimize the change in materials that might happen pose a harmful effect to one's health. Food preservation is commonly used to prolong the shelf life of fresh food. Now to check your understanding, answer the questions briefly by completing the sentences.